I feel the best I've felt in years right now. Um, I feel like I've had a chance at life again. In 2012, I had a colon surgery, which was a successful surgery. Eight months later, I had um, a tumor show up on my liver. I had an unsuccessful liver surgery. Pretty much I was sent home to, to die. After Thelma and I talked about it, we decided to get a second opinion. And uh, with a little bit of research, um, I found that Johns Hopkins was uh, at the top. There he is. How are you doing? Good. Yes, we've met before. And when he walked in, it was like my spirit just leaped within me, like this is going to be the guy. Dr. Weiss, when he when we first met, he was very warm and welcoming. He was personable. He reassured us that surgery was very doable and that her prognosis was very good and she shouldn't have to live with cancer for the rest of her life. So when they first found a liver tumor in Thelma, they presumed that it was metastatic colorectal cancer that had spread from her original tumor. It turns out that actually the tumor in her liver was a completely separate type of cancer. And actually what she needed at that time was a surgical resection. In Thelma's case, I had a concern that removing the left side and a portion of the right side of her liver was not going to leave her with enough liver to sustain her after the operation. As a result, we actually grew the right side of her liver ahead of time with a procedure called a portal vein embolization. This is performed by the interventional radiologist here at Johns Hopkins, and what it does is that it actually grows the portion of the liver that's going to remain after the operation. The operation went very, very well, and I know that Thelma was very excited to not see staples on her skin. I use a special type of skin dressing closure device called a vac dressing, and the wound infection rate here has actually gone dramatically down as a result of that. You want hot chocolate instead of tea? I was in the hospital for seven days, but the best part of it all was, honestly, I didn't have the pain I had from the prior surgery. I couldn't believe how much better I felt after that surgery. When the nurses and the doctors would come in in the morning for their rounds, they didn't just come in and do their job. They sat down, they spoke with us, they held my mom's hand, and they didn't only do their job, they, they called pastoral care, because they knew my mom was so you know into her faith and she loved God. I do feel like Dr. Weiss was put into my path. I was praying and my husband was praying, my church family was praying. I mean, I have the best team in the world. I work with interventional radiologists, I work with medical oncologists, I work with gastroenterologists, I work with the smartest people in the country, and it makes me better to work with them. Generally, before cancer, you take, you almost take life for granted, and the things that you do day in and day out, you don't, you don't think about it, but uh, I'm, we're grateful every day, I'm grateful every day that Thelma is active and healthy and she doesn't have cancer.